freeze the daisy. Here's yet another science video that's not for kids. It's for science teachers and physics demonstrators. You have to know the safety precautions dealing with cryogenic fluids in order to not injure yourself while doing the demonstration. So watch the video, but don't mess with it unless you know what you're doing. This time we're going to make our own liquid nitrogen at home. It's not real liquid nitrogen, it's poor man's liquid nitrogen. We need a couple pounds of dry ice and something to chop it up. Oh, um, dry ice will last many days if you wrap it up in emergency space blanket, aluminized mylar. Also need a two liter pot bottle, a small bottle that fits inside, 99% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, um, scissors, big ones or little tiny scissors, and that's it. Poke a bunch of holes in the bottom of the small bottle and in the sides. Now, of course, this isn't liquid nitrogen. I was um, thinking about the difference between dry ice and liquid nitrogen and realized dry ice doesn't make good thermal contact. If it was only liquid, it would probably work just as good as liquid nitrogen for most of the um, science demonstrations. So we're going to chill down some alcohol and use that instead. Use scissors to cut the tops off both the bottles. Then test fit. Small one inside the larger. We're going to chop up dry ice into half inch chunks and fill the space between the bottles evenly with dry ice several inches deep. Chop up the dry ice however you want. I use a butcher block in the sink and um, keep the dry ice in a bag so all the little pieces don't end up um, getting lost. Get lots and lots of little half inch chunks. And of course you could save lots of time by buying the pellet type of dry ice instead of chopping it yourself. Um, most welding supply stores will have the pellet rather than the block. Keep the center bottle all the way down and distribute chunks evenly so it doesn't get off to the side. There, there's three or four inches thick of the chunks. And um, then slowly pour in 99% rubbing alcohol into the um, dry ice itself. Oh, you can use 70%, but um, it soon freezes into a thick gel. Uh, also, this is not like liquid nitrogen in that it, um, liquid nitrogen beads up right off your skin. This stuff sticks, so don't put your finger in it. It's like cryogenic napalm. You want about two inches deep in there, so you have plenty of room to stick in flowers and leaves and the rubber balls. Okay, it's mostly stopped boiling, so it's down to temperature. Freeze the daisy. Thin objects freeze very quickly. But I'll knock all the alcohol off and frozen flour. Ready? Oops! Yep, it shattered pretty good little pieces all over. Another frozen flower. Oh, here's an unfrozen one. No, it doesn't shatter. And I've got a couple of cherries down there. That's where you need the tongs to get stuff back out. Instant frozen maple leaf from the front yard. I couldn't find any rubber super ball in my collection, but we have cherries and grapes. Nope, didn't shatter. Let's try again. Oh, don't put in your mouth. It'll freeze to your tongue like a flagpole. 
Nope. It's more like a stone. 